then taking the legs out comfortably long and then just ease the body gently down onto that equipment feeling the support and feeling the connection onto it so the front chest the front abdominal wall all lifted and opened side shoulders dropping around the bolster take the arms out comfortably wide turn the palms up gesture of openness and receiving Tuck the chin down, elongate the back of the neck. And even put another prop under the back of the head if you need to, to keep the chin tucking. And then from the hips down to the heels, can the legs be in alignment? From the front of the hip bones, down to the backs of the heels, the legs in alignment. And then just let the legs relax, feet drop away and soften completely. Notice this feeling, where is it for you this morning? Complete surrendering, complete letting go. The feeling is there balance through the body or are there differences? Make adjustments if you feel necessary, aiming to balance physically. And then surrender. Feel your foundations here as you surrender this morning. This week we're working with Muladhara, our base chakra. So feeling the foundations, how grounded do you feel? What parts of your body connect down? Is there a balancing down, a releasing down? So backs of heels, calf muscles, and then is it backs of thighs or is it the glutes that connect down? And then the prop in behind the back, so you feel the lower back, middle back, upper back, back of head, backs of hands. And just really allow the time for the body to drop and surrender. a slow deep breath all the way up through the body and then as you breathe out push out through the heels elongate through the back of those legs and then we're going to bend the legs up supta baddha konasana soles of feet together knees drop away and then sweep the arms back and reach for the elbows so now a little toe side of the feet press into the yoga mat it becomes a foundation Press the heels together, are they balanced? Balls of feet and feel the toes press against each other. Breathe in, press them down, press them long away from you. Pull the elbows long behind you and then exhale, soften. Feet press together, push the little toe side of the foot into the mat. Feel you're trying to push them away from you long, the elbows pull long. And then exhale, soften. Continue in this way. Activate stretch on your inhalation. Can you feel your body lengthening as the feet push in one direction, arms pull in the other? And then exhale, soften. Keep it going. And last exhalation for you, firm the lower belly, hold the breath out, change the grip on the elbows to your unnatural side. 
and change the grip and then change the focus. So a slow breath, breathe in as slow as you're comfortable to do. Feel where the breath moves all the way up through your body. Pause at the end of the breath, rest in together. And then a slow, steady breath out. And pause at the end of the breath, resting into the gap. So keep your inhales and exhales slow and steady. Breathing in and out, balancing the durations. Subtle gap at the end of each breath, rest into that space. Next breath occurs, keep it slow and steady. Keep the balance of your inhale lengthened, your exhale slows down to release out. Pause at the end of the breath, rest into gaps. Continuing in this way. the arms and legs relaxed, just opening through the body, front body open, inner legs, inner arms, opening up all those areas of the body that are normally closed down and turned in. And letting the breath open, look at the expansion and opening. Any more space in the body to breathe into? Any more opening through your body? And just one more round of breath work. So finish the round you're on and one more full round. Last exhale, focus on making it slower, deeper, longer. Hold out if there's anything left. And then eventually once you are finished, let the arms stretch out long behind you. Sweep them down around beside you and give yourself a moment, surrender completely. If legs are aggravated, slide them longer. If it's your back, because you're not used to being on the bolster, tuck the tailbone and move slightly. Otherwise, be still. Give yourself this moment in time, surrender and soften completely.
Open up the bolster, I'd slide the elbows straight back and push straight up. Any back issues, roll to your right side and push away from the side body, coming up to sit. Bringing the legs into a long diamond shape once you come through to sit. And then roll the crown of your head towards your heels. So knees dropped away, soles of feet together. Let the head roll into where you can. Tuck the chin in and up, protect the neck. If you come forward and there's a pulling at the lower back and sacred iliac joints, then don't go so deep. Try and get more stretch, more length through the whole body. So push the middle back up and out behind you more. Tuck the chin in and up and feel there's more length through the entire length of the spine, not just pulling at the lumbar spine or at your neck. Now breathe into these feelings, noticing where they are. Where's the lengthening? Where's some softening? And just let yourself surrender. And if there's neurotension, if there's tightness, you can feel it. Just try and breathe through it. If it's too intense, roll your back up and down a few times. Come in and out as much as you need to. Yourself the time to surrender. Notice if the mind wanders, bring it back to breath. Feel what parts of your body connect down, buttocks and feet. Are the arms resting anywhere? What do you feel? Exhale fully, firm the lower belly. Roll up as slow as you can. Vertebra by vertebra, let the spine lift up to its neutral line out tall. As you get higher, hold against the shins or knees so you can pull against the arms. There's resistance for the stretch. As you pull against the arms, sitting tall, and then tilt the right ear down when you're ready to. Not jamming down on the neck, feel the left ear being lifted. Pull against the arms, resisting for the stretch. Keep breathing. Feel the length on the side neck. And then inhale, the head centers, second side. Opposite ear down, so feel the right ear coming up. And again, noticing you're not jamming down on that left side, so you're being lifted on the top side, creating that length. Inhale, the head centers. Bring the chin around slowly towards the right shoulder. Tuck it down and in. Pull against the arms, still resisting. Keep the spine upright. Chin down to that shoulder collarbone. And then on the next exhale, slowly roll it down. Chin towards not your throat. And the chin pushing in and up towards back of neck.
Inhale, slowly the head comes up to neutral. And once you do, bring the head all the way around to the left. Bring the chin around, tuck it down and into where you can. Exhale, slowly bring the chin down around to center chest. Chin in and up to notch your throat. And then slowly the head comes up to neutral. And then slowly bring the face around to the right, bring your arms around to the right and rotate the whole body. Bring the shoulder back, the chest around, the belly around, the back around. Feel where the mobility, the rotation comes from. And just breathe there without forcing. And then exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Bring the whole body back to forward, all the way back to the front, and then rotate around to the left. Bring the arms around, the shoulder, the chest, the belly, the back, and feel the whole body rotate. Exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Again, face forward, inhale, body follows. All the way around to the right side again. Noticing, can you get this thoracic rib cage area to mobilize? Bring that chest around. Neck and lower back, usually do all the work. Thoracic gets locked. Can you feel any mobility coming through that thoracic rib cage area? And then exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, inhale, body follows, all the way around to the left. Noticing the rotation. And exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Bring it all the way forward. Once you do, pick up the legs, bring them out long. Give them a shake out, give them a rub down. Roll shoulders, mobilize the neck. And when you're ready, long legs. If you're falling out through the back, bend those legs up. Press the heels down into the mat. Sit bones press down, heels press down. Take the arms up, inhale. Reach forward for your legs, ankles, feet. Relax the shoulders back and tuck the chin in. Keep pressing those heels down, those sit bones down. Keep breathing into the stretch. Where do you feel? Let the body lengthen. Let the body surrender onto the legs as much as you can. Feeling where the legs are slink, softening, lengthening. Where's that for you? Let your body slump, let the palms turn up, let the head roll in, let the shoulders roll broad, tuck your chin in and up, completely surrender. Full exhale, firm the lower belly, roll the back up, vertebra by vertebra, chin tucked all the way, the head will come up last. Once you're all the way up, give yourself a moment, sit tall. And then when you're ready, prop your buttocks up on the edge of that bolster. Lift the hips high, sit up to where you can. And bring the feet in close, let the knees drop away in Baddha Konasana. So we've got the hips higher than the heels, helping us to sit up neutral, not falling away. Hold under the side of the knees and then just tilt the head to one side again. So pulling, resisting, find the stretch on the neck. 
Chin in, ribs in. Inhale, head centers, opposite side. Pull against the arms, tilting and stretching. Inhale, the head centers, bring the chin around to the right. Again, tuck it down and in. Roll the chin down towards center chest. Inhale, bring the head up to neutral. Roll the chin around to the left shoulder. Exhale, tuck it down and in. And the next exhale, roll the chin all the way back to center chest. Chin in and up, back of neck long. And then inhale, the head lifts to neutral. Once you're there, place the right hand off to the side, left arm up and over, and lean across. Push away from your right hand, make it as active as you can. Feet pressed together, push little toe side of feet down. Feel that left side body, open the ribs, stretch and breathe. Open into it as much as you can. The arm sweeps down, exhale fully, left hand wide, right arm up and over and lean to your second side. Push away from that left hand. Feel the right ribs push out to the right and then stretch the right arm over, lengthening. Press the heels together, balls of feet and toes. Press down, feel the stretch, feel the length. And exhale, top arm sweeps down. Again, twist around to your right. Bring the shoulders and chest around. Look around behind that right shoulder. Feel the mobilization. Face forward, inhale, body follows all the way around to your left. Bring the shoulders, chest around. Rotating, looking back. Exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, inhale, body follows. Assist the knees to come up. Take the left leg out long. Press the right foot down and twist to the right again. Take the left arm up. Can you bring the arm over outside of that right leg? Arm and leg press against each other. Can you feel you can get more mobility, more movement through the shoulder blades, through the back body? Keep the front ribs down and in. Feel the back broaden and stretch. Breathe across it, open into it. Feel where that is for you. Right foot could have pressed into the yoga mat more actively. Back of left heel. The sit bones, the buttocks on the bolster. Press into them. And then exhale, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, inhale, unwind, exhale. Second side, left leg in, right leg long. Press the foundations down, left hand back, right arm up. Reach up, bring the arm over outside edge of the leg. Arm and leg press against each other. If you find that right shoulder is just jamming up, then wrap around the leg instead. Keep breathing. Right heel press, left foot press. Sit bones press. Keep breathing into your spoke rotation, feeling where it is for you. Exhale fully, squeeze the last breath out. Face forward, inhale, unwind. Bring this right leg up. Can you flip the foot back? Point the toes back. Lift the hips off the equipment and open up hip flexor quadricep. Now if that's too much for you, then simply the knees across to the side, windscreen wipering, and push the hip flexor quadricep forward. So open up that front leg, that right leg as much as you can. Where can you take it to? And just breathe into the feeling opening up, noticing where it is, 
Whether you stay lower or go higher, find the stretch that opens for you. Breathing into it, keep breathing. Release the leg out, can you lift up into a tabletop? Push down and lift your hips up as high as you can. Press through the foundations. Feet, do they balance? Hands, do they balance? And keep lifting that pelvis up as high as you can. The buttocks come back down onto the bolster. And then second side, left foot flip it back. If flipping it back isn't easy, just windscreen wiper the legs across to the second side, across to the right. Tuck the tailbone, lift that left hip flexor quadricep as high as you're comfortable to do. And then again, notice, do you want to go high or do you want to stay lower and tuck? What gives you more stretch? What gives you more opening? Make sure the left top of foot, the shin and the knee are pressing if you're straight up. Right foot is a balance, hands are they balanced? Adjusting through the posture where you need to to protect and align. If you're off to the side, what angles are pressing? Opening and engaging it to where you can. Keep breathing into it. Trying to feel that opening. Feel that lengthening. Now lift it up into your tabletop again. Release, soften, lift up. How much opening can you get through the front body? Press those foundations down evenly. As they press down, hips come up. And then exhale, lower the buttocks onto the bolster. Bring those legs out in front of you long. Give them a rub down if they're tied up on the hips, the quads. Through the legs, rub them down, give them a rub down. If it was the wrists and shoulders from weight bearing on them, give them a shake out, roll the shoulders, maneuver where you need to. And then when you're ready, simply right fingertips low on the floor and tilt the head away to the left. Find the stretch on that right side, neck, shoulder, arm. And then when you're ready, that right arm sweeps across in front of the body, left arm in front of that. Make sure this right shoulder is back in the body and down. Full forearm wrap if you wish to. Roll your upper back out behind you, tuck your chin in and find your stretch. Wherever that is for you, keep breathing into it. Arms resist, press against each other. Shoulders broaden, chin in and up. Whether the head's tilted or you've brought it back to neutral, your choice. Find the stretch that works for you. Slow the breath. Exhale fully, the arms unravel. Then roll the spine up gently, vertebra by vertebra. Feel what part of the body rolls and lifts as you come up. Give yourself a moment, be still. If you feel you need to mobilize, do, but otherwise just still. Notice that feeling. And then left fingertips long and tilt the head away to the right when you're ready. Finding that stretch. And then we're bringing the left arm across in front of the body, right arm in front of that. 
full forearm wrap if you wish to or just keep left arm long keep the shoulder blade down in the body make sure it's not hitched up near the ear so maybe bring it down and back more then roll the back out behind you broaden those shoulder blades tuck your chin in and up whether you've got your head tilted or you want to bring it forward back to neutral find where the opening is for you find what gives you more length and then breathe into it slow the breaths conscious breaths into the feeling and feel where the opening is for you Arms unravel, full exhalation, slow roll up. Again, feeling what part of the spine, where's the mobility, the roll come from. Sitting tall, give yourself a moment. Full shoulder rotations when you're ready. Inhale, upward motion. Exhale, downward motion. Move more of the back with it if you wish to, starting to mobilize it more. And then opposite direction when you're ready. Inhale, upward motion. Exhale, downward motion. Move the body, move the neck, move the shoulders, whatever you want to. Try and find that mobilization feeling. Where is some movement? Where is it tight? Any clunking, gristling, grinding in there? Notice what's there for you. And then when you're ready, simply let those shoulders drop. Bring those legs in. Can you come up to stand? Lift the buttocks off the bolster. Pull the bolster up through the inside of your legs once you do. And you're squeezing in on it. So whatever you've got there, cushions, bolster. Now focus on the feet. Plant them down, inner, outer edges of your feet. Balance, squeeze in, inside of your legs all the way up. All the way in onto the bolster. Hands out in front of you, long body. Tuck your chin in and up and keep squeezing it on this bolster. Press four points on each foot evenly into the yoga mat. Keep pressing through the feet, squeezing the legs and pulling the spine long. Chin in and up, back of neck long. Keep breathing. Exhale fully, push through the feet, bring the arms up to the ceiling, come all the way up to stand tall. Can you clasp your hands and turn your palms up? Keep squeezing inside your legs on that bolster, feet pressed down, arms stretched up, front ribs in, lean the arms to the right, keep the feet pressing evenly through the yoga mat. Feel the stretch and the lengthening is. For that left side rib cage lift and open can you feel more length up through the top side of that left side rib cage feel where it is and then inhale center second side arms left keep the feet pressing inner thighs and legs squeezing now keep breathing on this right side where do you feel it from more of the hip up to the shoulder arms reaching across right side ribs do they lift down and lengthen open up
Bring it back to center. Again, arms to the right. Really try and get this left side to open. Right up in those ribs, right up near the underarm region. Lift it, stretch it. Keeping the foundation stable. Get more opening all the way through the side body. Where do you feel it? Where's the opening? Is it from the hip all the way up? And then bring it back to center and then second side. Arms to the left. Really get the opening all the way up through the body. Really feel it lifting on this right side. Feel where it is. Keep lifting. Where's lengthening? Where's some opening for you? Bring it back to center. Let the arms come down beside you. Tuck the chin, let the shoulders slump, bend the legs, slump your body and roll all the way down to the floor. Keep the bolster in those legs squeezing as you roll your body, slump it down. The foundation's pressing down. Notice that bolster push into the chest as you come in deeper. Just keep surrendering in as deep as you can. Feet pressing, surrender the whole body into the forward fold. Exhale fully, pull the bolster forward onto the yoga mat. Once you do, come down onto hands and knees. Knees squeezing on the back end of the bolster, squeeze in actively. And then dip and roll your spine through cat and cow. Inhale, dip the spine, pull your chest forward. Exhale, roll your spine, look in towards your navel. Keep it going, your timing, your breath. Next time you're looking at your navel, then stay there. Once you're looking back to the navel, shoulders broad, breathe across the back, open it up. Press the hands down, pull the knees forward if you're trying to drag them through. And then tuck the toes and lift straight up to down dog. And can you get the crown of the head to push into the bolster? Unlock knees, unlock arms. Shoulders brought across the upper back. Does the crown of head rest into the bolster? Make sure your neck isn't jamming. Chin tucks in and up. Slow the breath. Steady and calm. Adjusting into the posture where you feel you need to. And can you feel the palms of your hands are like square shapes, pressed into them evenly? Your feet rectangular in your shape. Feel you push into the feet as evenly as you can. Feel your body stretching and lengthening, strengthening. Just holding into this posture. A couple more breaths. Exhale fully, come down onto your knees. Inhale, dip the spine, looking up. Big toes touch, take your knees out wide to the edge of the yoga mat. Pull the bolster in closer and underneath your body and simply rest onto it. Tuck the chin and up and rest the forehead or turn the head to one side, whatever works for you. Wherever you're at, really just feel that front body surrender onto the bolster. Let yourself drop. There's something soft in underneath your body and you're just being propped and supported. Let yourself surrender completely onto it. A sense of where being supported. Allow yourself to surrender and soften onto the bolster. 
Feel the front body propped and supported. See how nurturing, how nourishing it is for the soul. It's like the inside of our body, our energy is just like, ah, oh, thank you. Let me rest, let me have this time. Got your head turned to one side, then just lift it and rotate it to the unnatural side, just to balance out your neck. And when you're ready, center the head if it was turned to the side. And just push yourself up off the bolster. Ease the body up. Walk the hands in. You come up to kneeling back in. Knees wide. Right fingertips long again once you're eventually up. And tilt the head across to the left. Bring the left arm around behind your back. Could you grab the right arm and start to bring it back behind you? And start to just hold that right arm further out behind you. You can hold wherever that's comfortable down near the wrist, resisting above the elbow. And feel that you're pulling the right arm, shoulder down and back, head tilting away to where you can. Front ribs in, make sure you're not arching the back to get the hold of the arm and the wrist wherever you've got it. And stretch and breathe. Let the arms gently release, bring the hands back to center and then tilting right ear down, left ear up, left fingertips, stretch them along out to your left side. And then start to bring the right arm around behind the back, so you might have to bring that left arm back behind you, grab around for the wrist of the forearm above the elbow, wherever you can get, and start to bring that left arm long and back behind you. Head tilting away. Where's your stretch? Where's that for you? Keep breathing. And then let the arms release back onto the legs. Hands rest on the knees. Let the shoulders just relax down. Tuck the chin slightly. Back of neck long. Feel the front body lengthen, not collapse, not overextended. Feel your back body natural curves, not popping the chest forward, not slumping the chest. Can you find the middle alignment? And then just push the bolster across the yoga mat in front of you. And then when you're ready, lift the knees in together, simply high kneeling. Clear the foot over the bolster. Lift it over. Once you do, hands on the knee. One hand stacks on top of the other. And then just come into your low lunge. Left knee on the mat, left foot, and press your foundations down. You can put hands on hips for a moment and feel the two hip bones, are they balanced? Making an inverted V down to the pelvis. Is there that triangular shape balanced off? Press into the foundations, or does the hip want to swing away? Really notice where it is for you. Then you can press against the hands, you can tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, feel where the stretch is, whatever works for you. Take the left arm up when you're ready and lean across to your right. Keep trying to pull this left thigh forward, tailbone tucking, ribs in. Feel where the stretch is. Again, keep engaging and holding wherever you need to, wherever you want to. Holding to where you can. And then 
exhale, simply sweep this left arm down in front. Pull the bolster along if you need to. Turn the right toes out, shuffle along, come down onto the forearms if it's easy for you and find your stretch. You can have the bolster long and under the body if you want it there, wherever you can get to. Right toes out, knee out, and sinking through as deep as you can. Exhale fully, simply walk it in, inhale. Pull those right toes up, Adha Hanumanasana, your half split. Dig the heel in, feel the buttock push out long behind you. Chest up, chin in, back of neck long, keep breathing. Find a stretch, where does it work and open for you? Exhale, let this front foot come down. Sink the hips forward as deep as you can, dragging this left thigh hip forward into the stretch. Round the upper back, tuck the chin in. Try and get the shoulders broad. And then back to down dog, best way you can get there. Tuck the toes, lift off the back knee. Hands further forward in front. Step that right foot over the bolster. Can you walk the forearms, the back of the forearms to press against the bolster and be in your down dog? And feel how different that is, the back of the forearms pressing against the bolster. Does it make you press, press down in the hands more, really engaging those foundations? And then what do you notice in the feet? Press down and through them as much as you can. Stretch the heels down, buttocks push out long. Slow, steady breaths in and out. And then exhale fully, simply lower to the knees, dip the spine, look up. Take the bottom back towards the heels. Can the elbows be on the bolster? Flip the hands over so they come up at the side of the neck, upper back. Pinch in there, rest the forehead on the bolster even. Get the thumb and the fingers each side of the neck and give them a good, if there's any knots there, press into them, pinch them, massage into them. You might get some tricep stretch with the elbows long on the bolster, wherever it is for you. Release the arms long, roll the spine up, chin tucked all the way, vertebra by vertebra to kneeling at the back end of the mat. Once you're there, come up high kneeling, left foot clears over the bolster, hands on the knee and stack as you come through into lunge or hands on hips and feel the hips down that V shape through the pelvis, are we balanced? Wherever it is for you. Find the alignments as you come into your lunge. Even feeling you're dragging this right leg forward, pressing away from the left, really feeling what's happening through these hips and legs, the pelvis for you, balancing it off. Then when you're ready, right arm comes up and lean across, open up.
exhale, the arms sweeps down. Bring the hands inside to the front foot, turn the toes out, shuffle it longer. Come down onto the forearms if it's easy. You can bring the bolster along if you wish to and lean on it or just keep it where it is with the thigh resting into it. Wherever it is for you, open up into these stretches. Find where they are. Lengthening, breathing. Exhale fully, walk it up, inhale. Adha Hanumanasana, that half split. So dig the heel in, pull the toes up, stretch back long. Find the length, find the opening. Keep lifting the chest, tuck the chin. Exhale fully, front foot flat, sinking through, drag that right thigh forward, roll the upper back, tuck the chin in, find your stretch, bring that right thigh through as much as you can, shoulders broad, chin in. Exhale fully, back to down dog. Tuck the toes, lift off the back knee. Clear the bolster, can you step back over it? And can you get the forearms, the back of the forearms again to press against the bolster? What happens through those front hands, the foundations as you do? Is there more weight in them, more evenly distributed over the whole hand? And then press the feet down and are they balanced? Pushing down, stretching back. Chin in and off, back of neck long. Feel the stretches, feel this opening and lengthening. Exhale fully, walk your feet forward towards the bolster. Once you do, step over it and then sit your bottom on the bolster. Once you're seated on it, take your legs long and then ease your back down and let your whole body just rest back to the floor with the hips up on the bolster, legs over one side, the back body in the other and feel those hip flexors open for you, stretching. So long legs, body back draped over the bolster. Get those hip flexors opening. If you've got any pinching at the lower back, just sit, move the bolster out, bend the legs up and just push it off to the side. Be flat, Shavasana. Otherwise, hips up on the bolster, long legs, the body draped over and feel those front hips lengthening, opening. Notice how that feels for you. Close the eyes, palms turn up, surrender completely.
and just let yourself breathe. Let yourself be. Let the body soften and surrender completely. to stay there or just simply bend the legs up, lift the pelvis off the bolster, push it off to the side and roll the body down. If you need to, bring the knees to the chest, hug them in for a moment, squeeze them in. If there's any aggravation in that back after having the hips up higher. If you need more, roll the forehead up to the knees so it engages the core body more with arms and legs resisting. If there's any aggravation in that lower back. If everything's easy, then just ease the body down and rest Shavasana. If you do have aggravation in the lumbar spine after having the hips up, do some core work. Bring the knees and forehead towards each other, strengthening and stabilizing through the core to help release the back. Rest Shavasana when you're ready to, and just give yourself a moment there. Surrender completely. And feel the entire back body surrender. Really just notice what parts of your back body connect onto the mat. And just allow them to surrender completely. Any particular area, grab your focus. What do you notice? Feeling the back body surrender. Feel all those foundation points softening, spreading. Feel a releasing.
mind is wandered, bring it back to breath. Start to lengthen and deepen your breath. As those breaths start to deepen, rub thumbs and fingers and wiggle toes. Opening, closing hands and flexing feet back and forth. And then circling the joints, ankles and wrists, full rotations. And then opposite direction in your time. And when you're ready, stretching the arms up and over, reach out long and sigh and soften. Twice more. Last stretch for you, then bend the legs up, roll to your right, move slowly coming up to sit. Once you do come up to sit, make sure the shoulders are stacked above the hips, easy cross legs, whatever works for you. Then work with the earth mudra, so you bring your ring finger and your thumb to touch. Earth mudra, ring finger and thumb gently touch. Just rest them on the leg when you're ready. Palms turned up. Tuck the chin in. Give yourself this moment. Feel grounded. Feel stable. Feel a connection downward. Center down into that connection. And just let yourself be here. to deepen the breath. And then when you're ready, wide arms sweep up, connect the hands together and touch to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips as we move through life. We have kind words and bring the hands to the heart. As we move through life, we have compassion and we have kindness. Namaste. Let the body fold forward, surrender. Be still or rock it out, your choice, how that is for you, how you wish to finish. And then when you are ready, simply rolling on and finishing in your time.